I want to answer a question I've had for some time now. See, for a couple weeks now I have this Sharp MZ700 set up next to my desk, just because I like the looks and how this computer works. I'm meaning to do a video on it, but that is still in the works. What's new? What I like about this computer is the built-in cassette deck. It's its upside, but also its downside, because BASIC is loaded via a cassette tape, because it doesn't come with a BASIC ROM on board. Load times are long, as I will show you, but close to my Sharp MZ700 I keep my JVC TDW503 Dual cassette deck. This cassette deck has a special feature, a feature that I really want to try out with a computer cassette. So let's try it with the basic cassette of my Sharp. The special feature of this cassette deck is accessible via this switch that says high speed for high speed dubbing, a faster way of moving music from one cassette to the other. Meant for music, but I've been wondering for a while if it also works with computer audio. Only one way to find out, I guess. Let's press that high speed button and see. Oh, and this is what high speed computer audio sounds like. After a couple minutes the recording finished and I rewound the tape. Let's take it out. I connected the computer to my little camping CRT via RGB, but discovered that the composite signal is much brighter as the RGB video is not even visible on my camera, maybe because of that splitter I use. Let's put the tape into the computer and start the loading process. Not a lot happening. Yeah, it's recognizing something. Loading of this version of BASIC takes so long, something most reviewers complained about in some vintage magazines I've read. Just to offer some context, I cut away 2 minutes and 54 seconds of loading time, and that's not even all of it, since I cut away other chunks as well. But I finally have an answer to something I wondered. Great, so BASIC is loaded. Let me label the cassette and thank you for watching.